Ignorance is a word that is associated with everything because nothing comes to free in this world and thus it has a broad scope. Finance is the study of allocation of assets and liabilities over space and time, often under risk or uncertainty. Finance can also be defined as the art of managing money. Jobs in the financial sector can be extremely lucrative, which explains why they are so in demand. Of course, getting into finance isn't easy. The entry requirements can be as high as the salary. Most jobs require a four-year degree at the very least, and many professionals have advanced degrees in business, math. economics or statistics nonetheless the finance industry offers a variety of opportunities that cater to a variety of skill sets and interests hello everyone and welcome to this video by intellipath where we look into different career options in finance so let us take a look at the agenda for this video first what is finance then we talk about different areas of finance then what is the purpose of finance then we look into few examples of finance and the key finance terms and then advantages of finance the importance of finance in businesses the benefits of making a career in finance different career options in finance and what qualifications do you need to pursue a career in finance and what kind of skills do you require and how much do finance jobs pay and with that we'll conclude but before we begin make sure you subscribe to our youtube channel and hit the bell icon to get regular updates from us so what is finance finance refers to the management creation and analysis of money and investments it entails the use of credit and debt securities and investment to fund current projects with the proceeds of future income flows finance is inextricably linked to the time value of money interest rates and other related topics because of this temporal aspect let us look at the different areas of finance finance is broadly classified into three categories public finance this type of finance primarily finances the government sector and assessing the roles of government in the economy is as important as assessing people's day-to-day -day expenses because investing in the public sector is critical to the economy's and the country's development second corporate finance it is the financial area that deals with funding sources capital corporate structures and the analysis of tools used in the allocation of financial resources or increasing form value in favor of shareholders it is frequently regarded as a company's personal finance with its value determined by the company's production rate and sales figures all of which add up to the company value which is primarily used to decide how a company's money is to be utilized and managed with separate departments being established with the main goal of money management to intricately decide the location of every cent of the company and where it should go so that no money goes to waste or falls into the wrong hands third personal finance a typical person's day is filled with monetary transactions at every step of their daily routine every person has some pre planning regarding the expenditure of his money with serious consideration of future needs being met and proper savings to be done before any commitments are made in order to have maximum ease in the coming years next we look at the purpose of finance The goal of finance is to assist individuals, businesses and the government in saving, managing, raising and using money as efficiently as possible. Without proper management and utilization of monetary resources, the foundation of any entity or organization is doomed to unhinge. As a result, in order for any organization to achieve its objectives, a dedicated finance system is required. Now we take a look at few of the examples of finance Every day financial transactions take place buying and selling taking out a loan investing refinancing an asset going public with an IPO offering levying taxes repaying debt and forecasting budgets are all examples of what this entails key finance terms you should know first assets assets are all resources that a company has that have monetary value current assets fixed assets tangible assets intangible assets operating assets and non operating assets are all included second liabilities all financial obligations that an entity is responsible for including debt are referred to as liabilities non current liabilities such as leases mortgages and business loans must be paid within the same year as current liabilities third balance sheet a balance sheet is a document 
that shows all assets minus all liabilities to calculate the entity's total net worth. This is done to ascertain one's personal net worth. Assets such as income, investments and real estate less liabilities such as mortgages and student loans. Fourth, Accounts Receivable Accounts Receivable is the total amount owed by all customers to a company, usually in the form of invoices. This is the total amount of money. Fifth, Cash Flow The overall movement of money into and out of your business each month is compiled into a cash flow statement to determine the entity's ability to pay its bills consistently. Sixth, Profit and Loss In order to remain profitable, a company's income must exceed its expenses. They will suffer losses if they don't. An income statement is a document that aggregates and analyzes all profit and loss. Then, Net Profit Net Profit, also known as Net Operating Income or the bottom line, is the total amount earned or lost by a company at the end of each reporting period, which is usually one month. Finally, Time Value of Money The concept of time value of money states that a dollar today is worth more than a dollar tomorrow. The present value of money today is always worth more than its future value due to compounding interest, inflation and the function of money in our economy. Now let us take a look at the advantages of finance. First, savings. Savings are one of the most fundamental goals of finance. You can save money by learning basic financial concepts such as budgeting. These savings can be reinvested or used for other purposes. Second, working capital. Businesses can determine their working capital through financial management. Working capital is the capital used to run a business on a daily basis. Third is profits. Financial knowledge assists businesses in earning and retaining profits. They can make financial decisions that result in less investment and a higher ROI. Finally, investments. The concept of investment has become extremely important in the 21st century. The majority of us are attempting to make money out of money. This is possible through investment, which ensures that money is invested in assets and activities that will profit them over time. Investments include fixed deposits, real estate, mutual funds and SIPs, stock markets, stock bonds and gold. What is the importance of finance in businesses? First, profit generation. You need money to make money. As the saying goes, and this is true in any business. When starting a new business, you will need capital investment to get it off to a good start. However, finance is required not only at the start of your business. Even the most established companies will require financing. Purchasing materials, hiring employees, marketing your company, and developing new products all require adequate investment funds and will necessitate careful financial management. If the company lacks sufficient funds, it will struggle to operate and as a result, it will be unable to generate a profit. Second, make operations possible. Every day, businesses generate large amounts of turnover which must be used to pay bills, invest in business activities and pay their employees. Without finance, the company will be unable to do those things, rendering the company inoperable. If a company does not carefully manage its income and expenses, as well as monitor funds, it will find it difficult to allocate funds effectively, causing the company to go out of business. Third, facilitate business growth. To be successful, a company must constantly grow and expand. This includes the creation of new products as well as the entry into new markets. However, this expansion and growth necessitates the acquisition of new materials as well as the funding of market activities. A business will be unable to grow without an effective financial structure in place, limiting it to offering the same products and services to the same market. Businesses that are unable to expand risk falling behind competitors and eventually failing. Then, persists in the face of adversity in the economy. The global economic climate can be a roller coaster ride for any business. This includes unexpected recessions and depressions for which every company should prepare. Furthermore, the progression of any organization is never linear. In businesses, there are always ups and downs as some products succeed while others fail. 
Preparing for difficult situations and potential economic downturns is the best way to ensure your company's successes. To accomplish this, you must ensure that your company has enough funds to get through difficult times. This will also necessitate careful financial management to ensure that your company has adequate contingency plans in place regardless of what happens. Then, achieving long-term objectives. Long-term goals are essential in any business, providing collaborative targets for all departments to work toward as a united front. Achieving these goals can help the economy grow while increasing customer satisfaction and loyalty. However, without adequate financial support, a business will struggle to meet its objectives. For example, the company may require additional funds for product development, marketing, or expansion. Investing money in achieving business objectives will enable the organization to meet its objectives while also improving future financial stability through long-term growth. Let us take a look at some of the benefits of making a career in finance. First, good money and growth. It goes without saying that once you've settled into a career in finance, you have the potential to earn a lot of money. In the field of finance, even several entry-level positions are lucrative in terms of pay. Furthermore, with the right set of skills and abilities, there is the potential to quickly advance up to the career ladder. Second, balanced lifestyle. Jobs in the financial sector allow you to have a balanced lifestyle because your work schedules are more flexible. Of course, there are stressful days, but the job domain provides a better overall balance. Third, job security. A career in finance allows you to choose a job that provides the most financial security. Any field would benefit from an all-round security feature. It enables you to unwind in any location without second-guessing your decision. Fourth, diversity. One of the most noticeable aspects of a career in finance is the variety of positions available in the field of finance. In the financial sector, there are numerous specializations to choose from. Fifth, potential for expansion. Finance firms are always looking for new talent to help them grow. It makes it easier for people to advance in their careers. At the same time, because finance is not always location specific, it is an easy option to relocate. Now, we take a look at career options in finance. First, investment banking. This is one of the best finance jobs. Investment bankers typically facilitate the brokering of major transactions for large institutional clients such as mergers and acquisitions, underwriters for equities or debt securities to raise major capital and corporate restructuring. It is one of the most popular career options in finance due to the level of recognition and rewards earned in the form of large pay packages and bonuses. It is a highly competitive field that requires financial expertise, excellent negotiation skills and a high level of confidence. Second, Asset Management This is one of the most prestigious careers in finance. Investment bankers typically facilitate the brokering of major transactions for large institutions. Second is Asset Management. Asset managers assist high net worth individuals and institutional clients in managing their wealth. They identify appropriate investment avenues for their clients to help them realize their wealth creation goals and develop and implement long-term investment strategies to do so. Third, commercial banking. Commercial banks, for example, provide a variety of retail banking services to businesses and individuals such as checking and savings accounts, issuing debit or credit cards, and extending a line of credit based on the client's credit worthiness. Loan officer, trust officer, mortgage banker, bank teller, and branch manager are some of the most common jobs in the commercial banking industry. Depending on the nature of the specific role, different skill sets may be required. Fourth is equity research. Equity research entails a thorough examination of stocks, including financial modeling and valuation. In order to determine the worth of a particular investment, an equity research analyst's work assists individual and institutional investors in making critical investment decisions. Fifth, corporate finance. This finance career is primarily concerned with the management of a company's financial activities. It not only deals with raising major capital through m and but it also actively engages in all forms of investment, capital management, and other activities that help maximize an organization's strategic growth. 
corporate finance professionals may have a wide range of responsibilities and thus their skill sets will vary finally risk management this career in finance has emerged as one of the key areas of interest involving the identification and management of various types of financial risk a risk management professional may be involved in broad based financial risk analysis in various scenarios or he or she may be working on financial risk modeling predictive financial analysis or other technical aspects of the financial risk management what qualifications do you need to pursue a career in finance a bachelor's degree is required for a financial analyst preferably in a finance related major such as accounting statistics or economics however as in any field a master's degree is advantageous similarly a master's degree in finance would be advantageous analysts who want to improve their job and salary prospects should consider pursuing a master's degree in finance or a master's degree in business administration in order to stand out to the recruiters obtaining popular certifications can help you come a long way so what kind of skills do you need here listed are some of the skills first accounting skills then data management cash flow management mathematics business intelligence analytical thinking and financial management and how much do finance jobs pay so the average national salary for an investment banker is 12 lakh 21706 rupees per year the average salary for an asset manager is 9 lakh 20304 rupees per year in india the average salary for a commercial banker is 5 lakh 21271 per year in india and the average salary for an equity research analyst is 6 lakh 99498 per year in india for a corporate finance manager the average salary is 11 lakh 37500 per year in india and finally for a risk manager the average salary is 12 lakh 60993 rupees per year in india i hope you have become clear with where to start to pursue a career in finance with that we have come to the end of this video thank you for watching just a quick info guys if you want to make a career in investment banking intellipass has just the right course for you enroll in the advanced certification in the investment banking operations by enict academy iit guwahati learn from the industry veterans and academic pioneers and fulfill your dream of becoming an investment banker enroll today